I'm Rebecca Burns and you're watching Information Overdrive, video production information when you need it. You may have seen the video podcast that we shot last year comparing the PMW F5 and the F55. Our community isn't ready to go beyond HD quite yet. A popular deliverable for the 5 and 55 is the good old XD Cam HD MPEG HD format. I'm here with Juan Martinez. Juan, what are the new features that were recently announced for the 5 and the 55 at NAB? Well, we have several very exciting features, uh, hardware that we're introducing at NAB. One of them is this B4, this low magnification adapter allows us to use B4 lenses onto Super 35 without losing two and a half stops. Traditionally, there's a two and a half stop loss, which is, has um, a negative effect in shooting in low light situations. With this adapter, we have less than one stop, so it is possible to use a single camera for any kind of production. The other upgrade that we're talking about at this NAB that is very exciting is another hardware update that will be an optional upgrade in the future that will allow to enable ProRes or DNX uh, compression in the cameras. What we announced first is that the F5 can be actually upgraded to become an F55. So if somebody purchased, maybe they didn't have enough money for an F5 at the time, or maybe they just wanted that, they want to grow into what the F55 can do, which is internal 4K and the ability to go into a 4K live setting like this going forward, they'll have that. It'll also include the global shutter capability, which is our frame image scan, as well as the S gamut and all those things that the uh, F55 will offer. So that's the biggest thing is for F5 owners to be able to go up to a 55. We also announced um, uh, a bit of a uh, ENG shooters kind of cage, if you will, that kind of addresses a lot of the things that's been fed back from um, our, our current user base. Talking about um, you know pots in the front, uh, audio connectors, and the like. Um, so it really kind of uh, allows for that more kind of shoulder mount usability. So it's, it's something that really we took uh, what the user base had to say and kind of ran with it into a nice solution. So those are the two biggest things. And then some bells and whistles that we just released last week, or actually two days ago, of version four, upgrading the five and the 55 to some new bells and whistles like picture cache and some user uh, menu settings and stuff like that, but that's free of charge. The 4K Live is really a big component for this, and, and this is where we're taking the digital cinema cameras like the 5 and the 65, which we have over here, and a couple around the, the set here. But going from a traditional uh, ENG or EFP kind of camera, digital cinema production camera where it's used in that, it can also double as a hard camera for studio or live broadcast application inside, outside. So this is the CA4000, which we've kind of started shipping a little bit recently, but we have now all these products that are being added to this solution. So it's not just the camera, and if you don't want a raw recorder, you can bypass that, throw this on the back, and now you have a fiber out that you can go into our XAVC server, which we're now touting. And it's something that is a native XAVC encoding recorder that can do HD, high frame rate HD, as well as 4K. And what really makes it unique is that you can take two 4K cameras and come into one server, so much lower cost there, and manage those two server feeds up to 120 frames a second in 4K, which is pretty remarkable. One of the biggest things is how do you properly grade these formats? You can shoot RAW, you can shoot XAVC, you bake things in, you have to manipulate downstream. Based on more feedback, we initially had that S-Log2 curve, which was given a little bit of slight gradient and you kind of slope in the highlights and lowlights. We've, we've been working with the field and we've established something now that's the S-Log3 S gamut 3 dot cine. Hard to say, but the post supers and the people that are doing high end color are actually loving this stuff because it really gets you the ability to dig in deep into the low lights and the highlights and throw it in on your camera. And now we also have the ability to say, all right, I'm going to bake a look in, in the card, but I want a monitor to let it go separately. And that's something we haven't had until now. And that's available now as of yesterday or Friday. So that's a big deal is a new S log curve that also combines an S gamut uh, with the cine kind of profile to it. That's something that just goes right into all, again, the major manufacturers, um, and uh, all based on feedback from the field. Oh, you're still there? Comment and rate the video. Until next time. So where do you download Information Overdrive? Go to Cruise Control's website and click Podcast.